Hey, what is up guys? Daily Science here in this video I'm back with another cool science experiment. So for this science experiment, you will need a big jar, borax, pipe cleaners, a pencil, string, and scissors. Now to start off, just go ahead and take out a couple pipe cleaners and cut it down to length. And the length that you want is the diameter of the opening of the jar, which is extremely important. So cut out three identical pieces. As for the next step, you're just going to have to go ahead and form the rough shape of the snowflake and it should just pretty much look like a star, sort of. Now if you want to take this one step further, just go ahead and cut six small pieces of pipe cleaners and this is going to go ahead and attach to the end of each of your snowflake tips and it will make your snowflake look a whole lot better, but you don't have to do this. Now you're just going to have to go ahead and take each six pieces of your pipe cleaners and slowly work it around the tips of the snowflake to give it that snowflake look. Afterwards, you can go ahead and start working on your solution. And for your solution, you're going to need three tablespoons of borax for every one cup of hot water. And the hot water is pretty important because it'll make your life a whole lot easier when you're dissolving the borax. When mixing the borax, make sure to do your best to dissolve as much of the borax as you possibly can because you want this solution to be as saturated as possible. Now to fill this jar, I needed uh, 4 cups of hot water and 12 tablespoons of borax. And you can also go ahead and add food coloring just to give your snowflake a hint of blue. Now for the final step, you're just going to have to go ahead and set this solution to the side and tie your snowflake to a pencil. And this kind of took me a long time, so you're going to have patience unless you're really good at tying small knots. Now once you get your snowflake on your pencil, you're going to have to go ahead and lower it into the solution and make sure that it fits really easily, it just slides right through the opening of the jar, otherwise it's going to make your life a whole lot harder. And make it so that the snowflake is hovering right in the middle of the jar and not touching the sides or the bottom of the jar. Finally, just set aside the jar overnight and let it work its magic. If you did your experiment right, you should have a bunch of crystals on your snowflake. And this is why it's important to make sure that your snowflake fits in your jar because otherwise you're not going to be able to take it out and you'll have to resort to other methods. Now you should end up with a snowflake that looks pretty much like this and maybe yours might even look a whole lot better and this has a pretty decent weight to it. I was actually pretty surprised. So that's about it for the science experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like down below if you thought this experiment was cool and if you at least enjoyed the video and leave a comment down below if you tried it out yourself. And subscribe to my channel as it always helps. Like, it just it always helps. And I'll see you guys next week.